Matthew 6, verse 5 to 8 says, When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask Him. Time spent alone with God, time spent in prayer and in fellowship with Him, is time well spent. And I encourage you to fight to spend time alone with the Lord, because as people, we make time for so many things in our lives. We make time to see people that we care about. We make time to go and visit certain places. We make time to engage in sports, to celebrate or engage in other things with friends or loved ones. And as much as we make time for all of these areas, I want to encourage you to make time for the Lord. Make changes if you have to. Move things around if you need to. But whatever you do, I urge you to make the time to spend with Jesus in prayer, in His Word. Time alone with God is crucial for every believer because that's how you will get to know the Lord. So from today, Here's what we should all commit to do. As often as possible, go into a private room, shut the door behind you, and pray in secret. Search for God. Seek His face. Search for His voice. Meditate and study His Word. Doing this can transform our families. It can give us the strength to stand strong during the storms of life. It can protect our marriages. It can heal us of deep-rooted pain. It can ease our minds. And so I want to encourage you, when you look at God's Word, when you look at His promises, He says, trust me in your times of trouble and I will rescue you. He says, abide in me and I will restore you. He says, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So let your hope be found in God. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Psalms 50 verse 15, the Bible says, Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. People of God, we need to pray if we desire to see changes in our lives. We need to pray if we want to see the blessings of God reigning over us. We need to pray if we want to have victory in the spiritual realm. Prayer changes things because God acts in response to our prayer. Prayer binds us with God to the point where God gives us His power to do all things through us. That's why Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now with this understanding, let us pray. King Jesus, we come and bow before you. May your name be lifted high. We come asking today for a heart of prayer, a heart that seeks to worship you, a heart that desires to praise you. Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray with power, how to pray with boldness, how to pray without ceasing. Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray from Scripture, 
Help us to live and move with the awareness of the presence of God. God, your word says, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. So in our time of suffering, help us to do just that, to pray. When we need help, we will call on the name of Jesus Christ to be our stronghold in the day of trouble. We bless your name, Lord. Your word in Isaiah 45, verse 2, the Bible says, I will go before you and level the mountains. I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. Thank you for your promises, Lord. Go before us each and every day, Master. May the Holy Spirit help us to put you first in every area of our lives. You, King Jesus, are first in our homes. You're first in our finances. You're first in our marriages. Nothing and no one is worthy to be competing for the number one spot in our hearts because you alone sit on the throne. You alone are God over my life, Jehovah. We invite the Holy Spirit to be our teacher and lead us into all truth. It is only you, O oh God, who can level mountains. It's only you, Lord, who offers rest to the weary. It's only you, Lord Jesus, who can give us true peace. God, I pray that you might have mercy on us. Look upon us mercifully, even when we fall. Father, help us in our own individual prayer lives to value and to have a sacred commitment to spending time alone with you. Birth a desire in us so that we can spend time alone in your presence regularly and so that we can develop a stronger relationship with you. Holy Spirit, I ask that you Help me to make prayer and reading God's word a priority in my life. Even in the midst of this busy world, keep my priorities aligned with the kingdom of God. I pray that the Holy Spirit would keep our lives from controlling us, from distracting us, and taking us away from the presence of God. Help us to keep our relationship with the Lord a priority. May the Holy Spirit never stop convicting us and pulling us in your direction, Lord. May he never stop tugging at our hearts. May he never stop calling us to the things of God. Help us to set our eyes and my affections on heaven. To seek your presence on a daily basis. Revive our spirits, Lord and refresh our desires so that we would chase after you. May the Holy Spirit create a fire in me that burns brightly for the things of God, a fire that seeks Jesus Christ above all else always, Lord. May you take the number one spot in my life and heart. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. All the glory, praise, and honor can only be given to you, a righteous and merciful God. I bless your name. Great and mighty are you, Lord. Amen. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask Him. Call to me, and I will answer you, 
and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.